Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a very basic problem in C Sharp. So basically today we'll understand about the properties in C Sharp, right? So many people you know who comes from the Java background or the uh, C background, C++ background, they at the starting get confused in the C Sharp properties that what are these properties and how we should use this right so let's take example first of all from the uh, from the java style like the normal language uh, way that how we go with this one right so let's say uh, i have this class time period class and uh, here i have one variable which is this uh, hours variable right and let's say if i want to update this value or if i want to get this value so what's the ideal way what we do for that so how we do that like generally uh, this variable is a private variable right that's what we do that our all the variables are private variable and to and to access those values then we basically create the getters and, and setters right so here uh, i will have this getter function uh, this, this is a public function getter function via which i will return the hours and then similarly then for the setting value as well then we'll have this one right so what I'll do, let's say if I want to update the value, first of all, I will initialize the object of this one and then I can call the public method of this one because I have public method. So it will basically update the value and then whenever I want, I can get the value, right? So this is in general when we do, uh, you know, we do via the uh, getters and setters. So in C sharp, like we can also do this, right? L like right now you can see we are also doing that. But to make it little bit easier, they have basically added the concept of the properties, right? So what the properties is, uh, first of all, let me remove this one. Now we don't need this and let me uncomment this part. Yeah. So here basically what they say like this value will this variable will still be there. But for that now they have also defined the public properties. This is just like our functions uh, like the getter getter setter function is just that like it will be let's say function name. Now uh, and the convention is that whatever the value is this just uh, add the add the same value just that with the capital at the starting with a capital letter, right? So that we recognize that if it is a capital, it means this is a public property. So here for the getter, we can say just uh, like written hours, right? Because here we have the hours, that's what we want to return. And if you want to set the value, so when we set the value, then we have this value, which will basically, uh, which is we are passing from the calling function from the main function, right? So here we just set hours equal to value. So this is a setter and this is a getter, that's all that's all we have to do uh, that's all we have to do in the in the getter and setter and that and that is known as the properties of this one right so let's say and how we call this one so in that case then we have to just because this is a public property so we can just say uh, t dot hours equals to let's say five right and similarly let's say if you want to get the value then we can simply get the value by calling this public property because now we now we are no longer now we no longer uh, want to utilize a the function they are just properties right so this property is basically attached with this particular uh, particular private variable so it means whenever i want to get the value i want to set the value simply i can do that right so what will happen uh, in this case let's say if i go t t dot hours equals to 5 it will go here it will set the value uh, this hours value as 5 and let's say if i want to get the value then we can simply uh, like return the value as well right so let's say uh, and after that we are printing the value as well so let's see if it is working fine so you can see that it is working fine and we have set the value as 5 right sometime it happens you know like uh, what you want that you should not be able to set the value like right now we are able to set the value but let's say if i don't want to set the value so for that also you can control so in that case we'll remove the set property we'll remove the set property we'll command the set property so that it means i cannot set the value i can just uh, i can just get the values right so in this case you can see this is now giving the error so in this case by default it will it will return as zero but if you want then we can also initialize a particular value let's say 10 so in this case now it will return the value as 10 right so this is also this is when the case when we don't want when we want to restrict the setting the property right then we do this in some cases what we do we basically also uh, in some cases we we can also do that like uh, i don't want to get but i can only set the value 
right setting is true but i don't want i can't get the value so in this case you can see that here it is giving the value it is giving the error that you can't get the value because we have restrict or we have removed the getter part right so this is how this is how the way of uh, of adding this one and similarly the advantage of this is that in the setters like like oh, like we can do some more operations in the setters uh, in in the setter method similarly here also we can do so let's say uh, rather than hours let's say uh, if it was seconds right so if it was let's say seconds and let me remove that so it means what you want to do like we also we always want to get the answers in the hours right so whenever you want to do then it means when you want to returning so in this case we we should do divided by 3600 so that it converts the value in the hours because we need the answers in the hours right similarly because when we will set the value we can also uh, we can also convert this second equal to whatever the value we are getting and divided by 3600 right so what it will do let's say from here if i am setting as 5 so it will say 5 into 3600 it will store the values in seconds and similarly whenever it is retrieving the value then it can also divide it by 3600 right so that is also some of the operations that we can do uh, in the in the getter and setters of these properties right so you can see it's five similarly you know like we can also add some more uh, more functions as well more conditions as well let's say we can say uh, if the value is less than zero or if the value uh, if the value is greater than 24 then this means it is not valid case right so in this case what we can say like either we can ignore or we can say uh, let's say maybe throw new argument exception right so we can say argument out of range exception because it is basically out of range right and then if we want if you, uh, like we can return here some values uh, value is not valid we can say this case right so that is how we can also check so let's say uh, let's say if my value is uh, let's say 28 so 28 hours is not valid case so in this case what will happen uh, it will throw the exception here let me check the value so we can see okay yeah we can see here that it is saying that the value is not valid so in this case if we continue then we can see the errors here as well unhandled exception because we haven't handled the exception here right so this is how basically we can uh, uh, we can choose the properties and this is how we can get and set the values now for, for the properties let's say if they have only one line so in this case we can also use the like the lambda expression as well so for that what we can do uh, like here we know that we have only one sentence right so here we can remove this part and we can use this so here we don't need return uh, it will automatically know that if we are doing get so it means we have to return seconds divided by 3600 right so that's also just for the checking purpose uh, you see uh, that's also fine right similarly uh, like let's say in set as well we can do this like let's say uh, we know because here we are doing many operations so that is why it will not be make sense uh, we can't do that right we can't do this part like let's say uh, if because when we do this when we use this uh, when we have only one sentence right so let's say if you have only one sentence we are not uh, using these checks and here we have only this part so now we can do that so here what will happen uh, we can remove this part let me first copy and here we can use this like this right so this is also perfectly fine so now what uh, because there was only one sentence there was only uh, sorry there was only one statement so that is why we can also do like this so let's say if we do to run this we can see it is perfectly fine right so now uh, similarly you know let's say uh, let's say we have uh, only the get properties now it means we can't do set so if we can't do set it means it will give the error so let me first of all do this now let's say uh, if we can't do that 
and we have only one sentence so in that what we can do like because we know that we have only one which is only get right so in that case in fact we can remove this complete part we can remove the complete part and then we can do like this also this is also fine right so what will happen that here if if I am doing this hours equal to this, it means it knows that it has only the get property. So whenever you see the values like this, it means there is no set property. That the set we you can't do, you can do only get and the value is it will return as seconds divided by thirty seven hundred. Right. So this is also a very uh, very important uh, math like way of we can utilize the properties. There is also a way, so let me again revert back to the previous one where we have the get and set properties. So here if you see, uh, like let's say here we are doing seconds by 3600 and we are doing this one, right? But let's say if we have very basic properties, so like rather than here seconds, let me again go back to our previous one. So here we have hours and here we are doing hours and here we are just returning that return what? Return the hour. Right, and here also we are doing very basic part like return hour equals to this one and value, whatever we are. Right. So if you see uh, here, what we are doing, uh, we are basically we simply have the uh, get and set, and in and then we can uh, whenever we want, we can basically utilize this part hour, and then here also we can from here we can set the value, from here we can return the value. Right. This is what we saw at the starting. So what C sharp says, like let's say, if you are just you know any like here also you are using the uh, you are using the getters and setters, and you have just this property, right? So rather than that, like even why to use this hour property? What you can do, you can simply have this hour, and then you can say like get, and you can have the set, right? Even like this, you can have this one, get and set right and even like we if you want then we can also uh, print put in the same line as well so for that you you see the thing here what is happening that t dot hour so it will directly set the value t dot 2 uh, so it knows that if it is setting the value here it will just set the value t dot hour equals to 2 and then it will also get the value uh, t dot this equals to uh, this one right so and, and if you run the program then you see that it works fine right so what happens so C sharp says that hey if you have to just make the values uh, as getter and setter right you, you just want to get the value and face it so why not you just make it public and why there is of defining of the private variable and all that thing right so you can directly do that so that is also so these we uh, call as uh, these are kind of automatic properties automatic uh, properties right so this is also perfectly fine that we can do but again because we know that you know like sometimes uh, this is just a very basic case if you want to do but if you have the more values like you have the uh, you know if you like g generally we do like this way right that we have the private values and then if you for the fetching the value we do this for setting the values we do this right because the advantage here is that we, we can also update the values uh, we can put some conditions and all that but again yeah, as per your requirement you can basically utilize that thing right so I hope that uh, you might have got some valuable information about the properties in C sharp that how we can utilize and over which are the different ways of using that. Still in case if you have any doubts please write in the comment section we will try to explain that and uh, please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thank you.